So the reason I didn't mention race in this case study is most recent guidelines that came out from the AHA, AC, whatever, it's a very long name, hypertension guidelines actually pulled away from any race-based prescribing and the prevention, like the calculator tool does not include race in it. And there's been more and more data coming out lately showing that with holding RAS inhibitors, so ACEs, ARBs, from black people is actually harming them, okay? It's making their kidneys not well and their blood pressure is just as well controlled. If we are not doing the old approach of calcium channel blocker and a thiazide diuretic, you can go ahead and give them a RAS inhibitor and a calcium channel blocker and a thiazide diuretic and all is well. From the hypertension people that I have been learning from, it seems like ACEs, eh, I don't really use them anymore a ton either as first line just because of the cough and that can definitely increase your chance of angioedema. So I've been reaching for ARBs, um, but that's the newest update. So if you are still doing race-based prescribing, maybe just look into that a wee bit more. There's a really good podcast by the Curbsiders that goes over some hypertension stuff that where this is covered. I will leave the episode number down below. I do not know that off the top of my head, but that goes over some good new guidelines. And the new guideline that's actually went over uh, like combo medicine versus increasing the dose of one med. So maybe I'll go over that in a different video because this might get long and rambly. But anyway, that's why I didn't include it because that is becoming a thing of the past. So cool. Fun fact of the day. There's your homework for the night. Go look into that. Have a good one. Bye.